Where am I? Where in the world am I? This is going to be so fun. Richard Weaver is taking me around the world and I'm so, so excited. We leave for Africa in a few weeks, but I'm so excited to be here today. Where am I? In this place, did you know that there are three million sheep? Three million. That is a lot of wool, okay? And there are no snakes. I might come live here. No snakes, nothing. I don't know how they do that, but there are no snakes. And 9% of the population are redheads. Where am I? Do you know where I am? Well, good morning, everyone. We are so excited you are here this weekend with us. It's been an Appeal to Heaven weekend, our first one of 2020. We are so excited. It is always a fantastic time of the Lord when Rick and Jen Curry are here with us, and we are so blessed to have them in our lives to keep circulating through here and just pouring into us and pouring into us and pouring into us. You have two more chances today. We have a three o'clock and a six o'clock service, so you don't want to miss it. You want to be a part of these. If you haven't been able to get here, get here. These are life changings. Don't you want to start the new year out correct? I do. I'm so excited. And we're in the 18th day of our 21 day fast. So this has been amazing. Things are happening. I don't know if anyone saw my post. My car broke down. We're fasting. My car broke down. I broke down right in front of a garage. Okay. Right in front of a garage in Ludlow on my way to work who knew the Dowie family and Mike Ellis and was so kind to me. And I just thought, devil, you don't have anything on my fast. They fixed my car that day super cheap. We were happy. And so I just went, yay, God. I mean, things open up when you're fasting. So get on board with us. You have, you have a few more days or you can continue into February. And some of you are probably looking like, what is that thing on the wall over, which side is it on the wall over here? This big white sheet, that's your prayer request. Go write them down after service. It is so awesome. I was telling my girls at work about this and throughout the week, some of them have slipped me their prayer requests and said, can you write this on your wall? Yes, write it on the wall. Everybody come up after church, get your markers, write your prayer requests on the wall so that we can all be praying for those. So join us today, three o'clock and six o'clock. Youth, junior and senior high youth, you guys have your snow tubing trip coming up. Woo, super fun. So excited about that. That is such an awesome time. Not gonna lie, I was scared to death when I was there New Year's Eve going down those hills as Palin was going down the tallest one by herself. I was begging her to go with me because I was scared, but it's a great time. You don't want to miss that. Bring your kids. If you haven't brought your kids to youth, bring them. It is such a time to sow into them. They make lifelong friendships. Bring them. That's on the 22nd. So see your youth leaders for details on that, for cost and time leaving and time back. You don't want to miss it. It's going to be a fantastic time. Speaking of youth, it's every Wednesday night, guys. We are still having Bible study every Wednesday night with Pastor. We have youth every Wednesday night. And we have Awanas every Wednesday night. So there is always something going on up here and you want to be a part of it. I can assure you, you want to be a part of that. And our place, you guys are going to have your first meeting of 2020. That's going to be on February the 29th at Allen and Sharon Pascarella's home. So see them for details on that. That's always a great time. It looks like they always have so much fun and they always have the best food. The best food at those, <laughs> at those events. So. See them for details or see Gary or Sandy Slay. That's always a great time with them. Well, this is it, everybody. I hope that y'all guessed where I am. If you haven't yet, I'm in Ireland. Yay! I do. I want to go there now that I know there are no snakes there. That is one place I haven't been. So this is going to be super fun. We're going to do Where in the World is Angie Keith every week because Richard Weaver thought of this in his brilliant mind, and I'm super excited to do it and kind of learn some fun facts about places that that we're going. So join along with us and we'll start making guesses of where in the world is Angie Keith. Make it a great week, everybody. This is Life Together.